Hello, welcome back to another video of Opitis Biology. In this video, I am going to talk about a very very important equation in the field of enzyme kinetics. And the equation is the Michaelis Menten equation. The equation was proposed by Leonor Michaelis and Mount Menten. So, for an enzyme substrate reaction like this, the Michaelis Menten equation will be like this. This equation is a relation between the rate of the reaction and the substrate concentration. So, now let's see how to deduce this form or how to deduce this equation. So, for this forward reaction where the enzyme and substrate are reacting and they are forming the enzyme substrate complex. If we consider the rate constant of this equation as K1, then we can write the rate equation like this. And for the backward reaction where the enzyme and substrate are forming from the enzyme substrate complex, there the rate equation will be like this, where K minus 1 is the rate constant of the reaction. The minus sign is due to the direction of the reaction. As it is a backward reaction, so we have to write a minus sign before DES DT. And please note that E between the third brackets, S between the third brackets, ES between the third brackets are stand for their concentration means the E between the third brackets stands for the concentration of the enzyme. The S between the third brackets stands for the concentration of the substrate and the ES between the third brackets stands for the concentration of the enzyme substrate complex. Now at equilibrium we can write DES DT equals to minus DES DT. So then K1 E into S equals to K minus 1 ES. And then we can write E equals to K minus 1 ES by K1 S. Now we can write E total equals to the concentration of E plus the concentration of the enzyme substrate complex or ES. Now we know that E equals to K minus 1 ES by K1 S. So now substituting E in this equation we can write this. Then taking ES as common we can write this or ES will be equals to this. Now adding the elements of the denominator we can get this. Now K1S will be multiplied to E total. Now if we divide both the numerator and denominator by K1 then the equation will be like this. Now the velocity of overall reaction that is V will be equals to dp dt that is equals to K2 into ES means the K2 into the concentration of the enzyme substrate complex. Now we know ES equals to this. So now we can write B equals to this. The term K2E total is the maximum rate of the reaction. So we can call it Vmax or Vm at a particular concentration of enzyme that is the E total. Now the ratio of K minus 1 and K1 or K minus 1 by K1 is a constant and it will be replaced by Km which is called the Michaelis Menten constant. So we can write the overall equation or the Michaelis Menten equation like this that is V0 equals to Vm into S by Km plus S where Vm is the maximum rate achieved by the system at saturating substrate condition and Km is the Michaelis Menten constant. Now, if the substrate concentration becomes very large compared with Km value or S very very greater than Km, then we can write V0 equals to Vm into S by S. Then S's are cancelled out, then we can find that V0 equals to Vm. Here, the denominator becomes equal to S as it is very very greater than Km. So the velocity of the reaction will be Vmax or V0 equals to Vm. 
Now, if the concentration of the substrate is very small or if it is equal to the Km value, then Km will be replaced by S and we can write V0 equals to Vmax into S by S plus S. So, it will be Vmax S by 2S and so, we can write V0 equals to Vmax by 2. So, when the subset concentration is very small or it is equal to the Km value, then the rate of velocity V0 will be the half of Vmax. So, Km can be defined as a subset concentration when the rate of reaction is half of the maximum velocity. Vmax gives the idea about how first the enzyme react with a substrate. Different enzymes have different Vmax value and the value of Km for an enzyme depends upon particular substrate and on an assay condition. The Km value also provides the presentation of substrate binding strength to the enzyme. So it's all about the Michaelis maintain equation. So thank you for watching the video. Please like and share the video and please subscribe my channel. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.